Hello everyone, in this video we will look at the features of Lucid's Colibras App HANA template. Lucid Colibras App HANA template loads SAP HANA assets into Colibra. In this video, we will look at how the lineage is presented in Colibra across dependent SAP HANA objects when the assets are loaded. Following are the assets and relations that get loaded from SAP HANA into Colibra. Calculation views, analytic views, attribute views, and their columns. Catalog tables, views, and columns. Stored procedures and functions. The red line represents the column level lineage from the calculation views to other related views and finally, to the underlying catalog objects and their columns. Let us now see how these are represented in Colibra when loaded using the SAP HANA template. The template can be executed with either a catalog schema as filter or package as filter. For this demo, let us look at a package named Sales for Content. It has several information views. Let us specifically look at the calculation view, VCV Product Sales. It further uses a calculation view sales analysis and an analytical view VAN purchase order. It has transformations such as the join and aggregation. When this view metadata is loaded into Colibra, we should be able to see the view details with its columns and its relationship with the other views it uses providing a column level traceability right to its source in the catalog tables and views. Now let us switch to Colibra to see how the metadata is organized as assets. A community based on user input is created. The assets are then organized under a subcommunity named based on the SAP HANA server, which is the source for these assets. Below the subcommunity, each of the schema are represented as a domain of type physical data dictionary. For example, the catalog schema. HDB schema is loaded as a domain containing tables, views, and columns. It also contains stored procedures and functions. Similarly, SysBIC schema is the default schema that holds the information views. Mapping assets domain holds the mapping or relation between different information views or of an information view to catalog views or tables, with field maps that have column level mapping. Systems and Databases domain holds the HANA server and database assets. Let us now go into the Mapping Assets domain to look for the calculation view we are interested in the VCV product sales. The mapping specification for VCV product sales shows the views it is built on as the source data structures and itself as the target. The field mapping section shows mapping between the columns from the source views and the columns in VCV product sales. For example, the country column in VCV product sales is derived from the country column in sales analysis. This is seen in the transformation logic. If we see the details captured for the country column, we see that it has the data type, precision, source which is SAP HANA and the field mapping. If we click on the lineage diagram, we see a complete traceability beyond the sales analysis view right to its source in the region table in the catalog schema. Switching back to the catalog HDB schema, let us see how a stored procedure metadata is captured. The procedure sales report is captured as a HDB stored procedure asset type and the SQL code is captured as a file attachment. The attachment can be downloaded and viewed controlled by relevant privileges. Let us switch back to a column in the catalog schema and view its details. Sales column in the sales table. We see that it has the precision, the field mapping and the data type. If we click on the lineage diagram, we see a complete traceability showing all the objects where this column has been used. Hope this video helped you get a good view of Lucid Colibra SAP HANA template features. For any further details, email us at colibrainfo at lucidtechsoul.com to test drive the template with a trial subscription.
visit www.lucidtechsoul.com slash downloads. Thank you.